Okay, guys. Welcome to episode 22. My uh, pothos plant has been in here for about a week or two, um, and I don't see any roots yet, so hopefully those will start soon. As you can see, a few of the leaves are dying off, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, I still haven't moved this one yet, but I definitely will. It's doing really well there, but I'd like the turtles to be able to come out and bask a little bit easier. Um, but the, the main focus of this video, uh, and it's going to be a short one, are the uh, the mangroves up here, the red red mangroves and uh, the black mangroves. Um, so the uh, red, red mangroves can survive for up to a year uh, before they start to, to root and send off their leaves. And uh, I have been changing their water, I have been adding salt. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue adding salt or if I'm just gonna switch it back to fresh water haven't quite made up my mind yet I know that probably the most important thing that they get is iron um, so um, I've been supplying that to them uh, even though they haven't really started growing yet but um, what is kind of exciting and I don't know if you guys can see this but I'll, I'll try to go real slow and look at the, the bottoms of some of these uh, they are starting to send off roots and some of them are, have, just have uh, little nodules that are starting to form uh, sorry if, if the focus and the glare is, is bad on that but um, they send off their roots and um, that takes about three weeks and it, it has been probably about three weeks that these have been up um, so I guess that makes sense from a timing point of view so that's good uh, I, they, they're on track, I guess, in that regard. And um, what I would assume is within another three weeks, uh, they'll start to put off leaves. That's kind of the, the timetable. Three weeks to send off roots, and then after that, another three weeks to start sending off leaves. So I look forward to that. Uh, some of them look like they're they're drying up, uh, which is a little concerning. But uh, hopefully, once they send off their roots and they start to send off their leaves, they'll start to, to kick back um, and, and really get going. But um, the surprising part actually are the black mangroves over here. Um, when I got them, they were just like a little seed pod. Um, you can still see one of them there is kind of... Uh, um, all the leaves are kind of still stuck together, but they spread out, the leaves spread out, and uh, what was actually surprising is these have only been in here for uh, a week or two as well, but you, you see those roots there? The roots are already about an inch long uh, on some of them, which is pretty awesome. So uh, what I might do um, is transfer those into um, small pots with some rock wool uh, and maybe even look to uh, to plant those, uh, sub submerse the, the stem, the stalk, and, and plant those um, sometime maybe after I move uh, because those those roots look really promising the leaves look really good uh, so hopefully I'll be able to start uh, some black mangroves uh, off of those uh, which is pretty awesome uh, but yeah this this is pretty slow uh, kind of painfully slow uh, but I'm gonna stick with it you know I'm, I'm gonna keep doing water changes I'm gonna keep adding iron to the water and when I do move I will be um, probably putting this on a real stand putting some some uh, some um, substrate in there putting some sand on top of it raising the water level up a bit uh, maybe raising the lights up a bit I know that the lighting is probably a, a little too intense for them uh, so maybe I'll, I'll just uh, use two lights instead of four. I don't know. I'm, I'm playing around with it. Obviously, this is, this is one giant science experiment here. Um, so we'll see how they do. Uh, I'm, I'm really kind of learning as I go here. So uh, hopefully you guys are learning with me. But uh, that's, that's about it for right there. Um, the... Uh, Hatchlings are doing really well. Um, I don't know that the uh, the smaller ones from from Jonathan Helms are ever going to catch up with the uh, 
the larger ones from Keith B. Uh, just because the the ones from Keith are like they got a good two months over over the other ones, uh, but they are all eating. They're all cooperating with one another. Um, and uh, I did order uh, Arena XP3 filter, uh, and I will be replacing these two uh, hangoback filters with that XP3 filter. Um, and I did hear news on Turtle Forum that um, Eheim is running um, a contest to win a filter. Um, so check out Eheim's channel. Um, I think all you have to do is, is favorite their, their video, subscribe to them, uh, post, post the link somewhere, and, and uh, post a video reply with uh, one of your Eheim products or, or um, why you want an Eheim product. So that's cool. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll use the Eheim on this tank. Maybe I'll use it on the 125 if I do end up winning it. Uh, but either way, um, canister filters are... The, uh, the goal here for right now um, and the more I think about this the more I think that uh, I should just forget playing with the salt because uh, it's it might just be causing more variables um, to this and uh, I might try to set up some sort of um, cascading system where uh, this water um, can get fed into this tank kind of as a sump not really sure haven't haven't really decided yet but I would like to put these on when I move I'd like to put these on stands uh, higher off the ground than, than I have here um, one after the other kind of ca in, a, in a cascade so uh, we'll see what I come up with but uh, that's about it for right now see you guys later